Hey guys, so last video we went ahead and went over peptide bond formation. So when you form something, anytime you create something, you know there's always somebody or somebody that walks by some bully that wants to destroy it. So that's why we're gonna talk about peptide bond cleavage, which is the same thing as separation. So like I said, last video we formed a peptide bond. Now we're gonna break it or separate it apart because once you form it, you gotta break it apart. So you guys probably remember the dipeptide that we formed in the last video. So here it is again. So we have our double mountain top backbone with a line here off to the right, line here off to the left, pretty simple, our OH groups our double line oxygen, our amino group here, our side chains, we've got pretty much everything. And remember, we got our peptide bond here. So we're talking about peptide bond cleavage or separation. So we know we're gonna want to cleave right here. So, so we're gonna cleave this section right along here where our nitrogen and our double line oxygen is because that's where our peptide bond is. And we're gonna do that with a process called hydrolysis. And hydrolysis occurs two different ways. So two ways. All right guys, so hydrolysis. This is how we're gonna cleave that peptide bond that we saw. So hydrolysis. So it's gonna occur two different ways. So there's our hydrolysis. So Way number one is acid hydrolysis. And acid hydrolysis is going to be non-specific. So what non-specific means is it's going to cleave all the peptide bonds within your polypeptide. So it's not gonna segregate, it's just gonna cleave them all, get rid of all the peptide bonds. So way number two of hydrolysis is going to be called proteolysis. And proteolysis is specific. And what that means is it's going to cleave only some of our peptide bonds. So it's gonna be pretty exclusive on what peptide bonds it wants to break. And it's all gonna be dependent on what proteolytic enzyme you choose. And it's also gonna be specific on how your amino acids are arranged and things of that nature, whether your amino acid peptide bond is on the N terminal or the C terminal. So let's go through step one of acid hydrolysis. So step one, pretty simple, pretty obvious. You have to add a polypeptide. So let's have a little beaker here, or beaker or a pot, whatever you wanna call it. And we're gonna add polypeptide. Just gonna write PP for polypeptide. So step one, pretty basic. Step two, we're gonna add a strong acid. So strong acid. So H plus, H plus, H plus. So strong acid, step two. And step three, we're going to add heat. So we're either gonna turn on our Bunsen burner or turn on our stove. We're just gonna get some heat, get a little flame going. And what's gonna happen there is, we're going to form a single amino acids. And that's how we do acid hydrolysis. So I explained the steps already of acid hydrolysis. Now I'm gonna explain, explain proteolysis. And proteolysis is pretty cool. So step one of proteolysis is we're gonna add our polypeptide. Pretty simple again. <clears throat> but this time when we add our polypeptide, we actually have to draw a structure because it's very important to know what amino acids we have in this polypeptide and where they're at in terms of the M N terminal or the C terminal. So our structure is gonna look a little bit strange to you, maybe at first, 
So we have our N terminal here, N terminal here. Gonna write in some specific amino acids. So we're gonna write in threonine, arginine, histidine, proline, lysine, and valine. And we're gonna have our C <coughs> terminal here. So we have that in. So that's step one. Here's our polypeptide. Step two now is we're going to add a proteolytic enzyme. So an example of, of a proteolytic enzyme is, let's say, tricin. And tricin is normally found in your stomach and it helps break down food proteins whenever you eat. So it's a good example to use. And what's cool about tricin is it cleaves on the C terminal side of arginine and lysine only. So this is what I mean by specific. It cleaves only some peptide bonds of specific amino acids. So C terminal side, so this side, not the N terminal, the C terminal side. So these are all peptide bonds, these little lines that I drew in. So let's add our tricine so we can visualize this and see what the heck is going on. So let's add our tricine. And like I said, tricine is gonna cleave here on the C terminal of this peptide bond. So we're gonna cleave here. And it's also going to cleave on this lysine amino acid peptide bond on the C terminal. So we have a cleavage here. And what happens is now forms three fragments. So we're gonna have a breakage here, breakage here. So we're gonna have fragment one here, fragment two here, and fragment three here. That's how you cleave a peptide bond. So we went over our dipeptide structure we saw where our peptide bond was formed. We saw where we needed to cleave it. We found out what it's called when you're cleaving your peptide bond, hydrolysis. We found, we wrote in the two steps of hydrolysis or the two ways you can perform hydrolysis, proteolysis, acid hydrolysis. And then we went through the steps and we wrote in exactly how you cleave your peptide bond. If you guys keep liking what you see, go ahead and subscribe, show me some more love, give me some likes and continue watching our videos. Bye, guys.